my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to resize your images for mobile on Squarespace 7.1. So some of the ways um, that I'm going to show you today is the same as it was for Squarespace 7.0. So you may have seen this in a previous blog post, um, but there is slight differences when it comes to targeting a section um, or a page. So we're going to look at kind of all of the options today so you can make sure your site is nice and mobile friendly for images. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to this button here, the mobile icon to change it to the mobile site so you can see what it looks like. You're going to need to be opened up on Chrome uh, and that is so that we can use the developer tools that are in Chrome so you can see all the different IDs and stuff that we're going to need to use. Then you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and this is where we're going to put in all of the code we need. So the first thing we need to do is put in media queries and what this does is let let the computer know that the code we're going to apply only applies to the mobile version of the site. So you're going to copy and paste the code for the media queries below this video. Now we're going to apply the next code just in between these two lines here for mobile, but if you wanted to arrange for tablet, I've left that in there as well, although you won't be able to see that necessarily in the screen because Squarespace 7.1 doesn't have the desktop tablet mobile option, it just has the mobile and desktop view. Um, so we're just going to be working in, in the, between these two sections here. Okay, so let's scroll down. We're going to be editing these images. I think they're too big for the section. They're taking up too much of the screen. Um, so I want to make them a little bit smaller. So if you want to apply this code site-wide, so you want all of your images on your site to be slightly smaller um, or to adjust their size in some way, then you're going to copy and paste the following code from below this video. And again, you're gonna paste it in between these two lines here. And you can see that the image has gotten smaller. So I've used the number 80%. So if you'd like this to be even smaller, you can play with the number 80 here to make it even smaller um, or maybe bigger um, and things like that. I don't generally recommend doing more than 100% because as you can see, the image is um, off-centered now and it's scrolling past the screen. So your viewers are gonna have to scroll sideways to see the whole image. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, with this technique, uh, but what you can do is, you know, play with it a little bit to, to your liking here, anywhere between zero and hundred. Now again, that applies to all pictures on the site. So as you go down, you can see that this one is also affected and so on. Um, background images will not be affected. So just these image blocks that you have. Okay. Now, what if I just want it on this, uh, page. Maybe I don't want it throughout my whole site, I just want it on this page. So how, what you're going to do is you're going to add in the pages ID um, in front of this code. So to do that, you're going to hover over top the page, right click and click inspect. And then what you're going to need to do is scroll up until you see a big block of blue text. So right here, see this huge block of text. You're going to scroll all the way up to the top of that block. And you'll see something that says ID collection and a bunch of random numbers and letters. And that is the collection ID for this page. So you can double click on it to copy the collection ID. And then in front of this code, you're going to put hashtag and then paste that collection ID. And you can see again, these images have changed, but if I go to, let's say, the I, our story page, these images have, are not affected. So as I change this number, you can see this image doesn't change. So it's only affecting them on that page I was on, which was, in this case, the, the home page. Okay. So you can see they're, they're affected there, but not on any other page. So what if you want this just to apply to one section on a page? So you don't want it down the whole page, just on one section. 
In Squarespace 7.0, this was fairly easy to do because the name of each section was the URL of that section. Um, it's not like that anymore for Squarespace 7.1, which is why maybe some of the techniques you're, you've found or you've been using aren't working. Um, so it is a slightly different code. So what I would like you to do um, is, again, you'll need this collection ID. So you can keep that section, but you can delete the rest out. And then you're going to copy and paste the code listed below this video for a specific section. Obviously we don't need this hashtag collection ID because you have that here. So we can delete that out. So what you should have is the collection ID with an open bracket section nth of type one. So that means I'm, it's applying to the first section on this, this page. Open bracket and then our Squarespace block image sizing and three closing brackets. Okay, make sure you have all of the correct brackets. If you've pasted this in and no warning has come up, chances are you have the right brackets. Um, but you should have see three opening brackets and three closing brackets. That's important. Okay, now to determine which section the pictures are in, what you can do is go back to the desktop view, click on edit, and then you can count your sections. So your sections will be all divided by this plus button. So you have one section here, this is the second section, this is the third section, fourth section, and so on. So the images I want to change right here are in the second section. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to switch back to mobile view so we can see what happens when we apply this code. And I'm, all I'm going to do is change this one to the number of sections that you, that you want. So mine's in the second section, so I'm going to change it to a two and you can see my images change. Um, some debugging, so if your image doesn't change there, um, you could have the wrong collection ID, so double check that you have the right ID there. Uh, maybe you've counted the sections incorrectly, so double check your sections there. And again, just make sure you have all of the brackets and all of these um, semicolons and colons and things um, because that's generally the common sources of error when it comes to code not working. And again, that should just change the image in this section. If I scroll down to this section below, you can see that as I change this number, nothing happens to the image in that section because it's just applying to the, sec the second section. If I want to apply this code or resize just a single image, I want to resize a specific image to be smaller, what you're going to need to do is find the block ID of that image. Okay, so we're going to delete this code out here and copy and paste the code below this video. And then I'm going to want to find the block ID number of, let's say, this image. So again, I'm going to hover over top of the image, right click and select inspect. And then what you need to do is hover over top and you should see the image highlighted there. So I want to keep going up so that the image is still highlighted, but until I find this ID block dash and a bunch of numbers. So it should be block dash a bunch of numbers, um, not YUI and numbers. That's not the one we're looking for. It's got to say block. And as I hover over top of it, you should see the image highlighted. So you know it's the right image. Okay, and again, you're going to double click on that copy it and then replace block ID number with the number you found. So it should say hashtag and then that block ID number you found. And again, you should see that it hasn't affected the other images. It just affects this first image, but it doesn't affect any other images, just this one. Okay, so that is how you adjust images on site-wide a specific page, a specific section, or a specific image only for mobile on Squarespace 7.1.